Everywhere you looked, every place you turned, everything you heard, and all you could imagine Tuesday, was all about Shohei Otani. Otani was nowhere in sight. His agent, Nez Balelo, wasn't available. And his former Los Angeles Angels boss, Perry Manazian, was talking only in generalities. We all involve ourselves and our profession around this game, said Eric Neander, Tampa Bay Rays president of baseball operations, because we love it. We love talent. We love stories. And certainly, he's as fascinating a talent as we've all seen in our generation. Follow the money, MLB player salaries and payrolls for every major league team. Across the game, this is as anticipated a decision as we've had in our sport. This is certainly as captivating one to many, even for people that aren't baseball fans. I think it's great for our game. Otani, who will be honored next week with his second American League MVP award in three years, is the sport's greatest two-way athlete in history, even eclipsing Babe Ruth. He underwent his second elbow surgery in five years on September 19, and won't be able to pitch again until at least 2025, if not later, but no matter. There's not a team in baseball that doesn't covet him. Even with a price tag that will exceed $400 million, he's expected to receive the most seven-figure contract offers in baseball history. Traditionally when a marquee free agent hits the open market, he'll get two, perhaps three legitimate offers. Aaron Judge got offers from only the New York Yankees, San Francisco Giants and San Diego Padres last winter. Bryce Harper's market consisted of the Philadelphia Phillies, Los Angeles Dodgers and Giants. Manny Machado had offers from only the Padres and Chicago White Sox. I've had a few big name players, and many times, it's just team bidding against themselves, one veteran agent said. You just don't have many teams willing to make that kind of commitment. Otani could have as many as 10 teams making legitimate offers, and perhaps as many as 20 who'll tell their fanbase they were in on him, too. Simply put, he's the holy grail of free agency in the sports world. Just as an industry and fan perspective, Cleveland Guardians GM Mike Kernoff said, he's the most interesting story in baseball right now. He's just such a unique talent. I'm trying to think of what guys have had this sort of unique attributes over the years, and I can't think of any. He just brings a whole different dynamic just because he's a two-way player thing. I can't even imagine how that will be valued on the market. I have no idea how it will play out. There will be big markets and mid-sized markets involved. Teams from San Diego to Toronto to Texas to New York to Chicago will be in the bidding. The only thing guaranteed, GMs say, is that there will be a mystery team, a finalist in the sweepstakes that no one saw coming. It could be as shocking as the 2000 winter meetings when the Rangers signed Alex Rodriguez to a record 10-year, $252 million contract, the richest in sports, easily beating out the Seattle Mariners and Atlanta. No one knows where he's going to end up, Houston Astros GM Dana Brown said, and I think that's exciting for the game. You just don't know what's going to happen. I think there may be a wild card team out there that's going to surface. These teams can just come out of nowhere. It's so unpredictable. I mean, like honestly, I didn't even consider the Cubs for Craig Council. I wasn't even thinking about that. I'm thinking maybe the Mets or he goes back to Milwaukee, and then all of a sudden, it's the Chicago Cubs. Where these things land is really difficult to predict. In free agency, it's got to be the perfect city, the perfect match in a revenue city that can actually afford him. Only the good Lord knows where he ends up. Manasian wishes he could wave a magic wand and bring him back. The Angels never reached the postseason during his six years with the team, but he has been the most electrifying player in the game, hitting a league-leading 44 homers with 95 RBI, 20 stolen bases and a career-high 1.066 ops despite missing most of September. On the mound, he went 25-14 with a 2.69 era, striking out 386 batters in 298 innings the past two years. Where else can you find a legitimate ace and one of the game's premier power hitters in one package? I don't think the world quite appreciates how hard or challenging this is relative to any other athlete in sports, said Derek Falvey, Minnesota Twins president of baseball operations. It's like there's no quarterback in the NFL also playing free safety at a high level. It's just very unique. So, I appreciate it just as a fan of baseball. So, buckle up, lock the doors, and brace yourself for a seismic impact once Otani makes the decision heard, round the baseball world. It's probably the most focused on free agent moment that I can remember, Falvey said. We'll see how it shakes out. Just stay out of the, alt central. That's all I care about.